What is going on? Charles Botenston here. Today, we are going to be having a little bit real talk, you and I, us. You're obviously on this path of personal development. You're on this path of self-development, whatever you want to call it. And what I've noticed in New York City, which it's a pretty big city at 8 million people, I see a lot of faces. I see a lot of interactions. I see a lot of body language. The thing is, they don't look as happy as they should. Should we move to California and see that it's beautiful weather and Yes, it's November here in New York, but even if, like I was just saying, you go to California, there's a lot of people that have beautiful external things. Just, just scenery for miles and beaches and sand and sun, and they're unhappy on the inside. So this is really what it comes down to, is that you have to do a couple things every single month. For me, it's almost daily, okay? I, I look at myself and I say, what area of my life do I really want to improve right now? There's three pillars, your wealth, your relationships, and your health. So let's talk about health, me. I'm doing this, this is what you should do. And this is the most important thing, is that there's nothing on. There's no TV, there's no iPhone, there's no computer screen besides the one that's in front of me. I'm doing this in silence. There's no headphones. Yes, you could maybe put in, you know, Theta Wave headphone music where it's mm. However, if you want to look at an area that you really want to change, you have to be in silence. You have to think. You need a prolonged series of days where you have way less stimulation. Before I get into this, we're living in a body that was created billions of years ago. Through billions of years of cellular division and procreation, we came to where we are. And then through all of that, we are part of this creation, we're not, we're not the pinnacle, we're part of this creation. So we literally have billions of years, billions of hardware, hardware and software years, biology and psychology, and we want to implement things because we have computer screens and an iPad and an iPhone and books and all these things around to distract us, okay? I see sugar, I want to eat it. Why? Back in the day, there wasn't as, as much honey and strawberries and blueberries. That was good for us. It put fat on our bodies. We stored that energy. I see TV. I want to watch it because it's stimulation. That's fun. That releases dopamine and, and oxytocin and serotonin. And we just go for these feel-good hormones all the time. So we have a billion-year-old body, and then we have this this microcosm on top of it of say 50 years, 40 years of just, we should just change. We should just change. No, that's impossible. Unless you actually figure out, we need to do certain things every, that bring us back to why we're not happy. So let's go over me, all right? First thing is health. Okay, so health. Let's talk about that for a second. I'm extremely happy with my health right now. I'm extremely happy. I don't drink that much, maybe, maybe once a week. I'm drinking for the first time tonight since Thanksgiving, which was a week ago. So call it four times a month, five times a month I drink. Eating well, I eat extremely well. I go to the gym at least five, now it's almost six days a week, maybe seven sometimes, seven days a week. So that's really maintaining. I'm not, I'm, I'm not making money from it. I just know that that is my pinnacle habit I need to do every single day every single day. That's my keystone habit that just makes the rest of my day unfold. Health, I'm maintaining it. That's fine, that's great. I'm very happy, let's move on to relationships. I'm very happy with the, the progress and the interactions that I'm actually having with women because before I relied on dating apps and I hate dating apps. A, I'm really bad at texting, I'm really bad at messaging and to be honest, I don't really like the talent that's on there. So I really like the steps that I'm taking. That's progress. How did I get to that point? Okay, I looked around and I said, wow, Charles, you're going to the gym, you get your health, you know, you're not, and we'll talk about business in a second. You really want that female companion, you know, whether it's consistently, whether it's once a week, whether it's once a month, whatever the case is, you, you, you like that, you feel good about it. When did I come to that conclusion? When I was sitting down in my apartment and I looked around and I was getting ready for probably about three, four months ago, and I, I was getting ready for gym the next day, and I said, you know, it's a Thursday, there's a lot of people out, you know, there's probably some people on dates, and I said, I should be on a date. I should be one of those people that are looking to find a partner, whether it's marriage, whether it's a girlfriend, whether it's just, you know, just to hang out with. I should be that person. I found that through continuous, 
unhappiness and uncomfortability in an area I wanted to change through silence. Through silence. I, 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 w I, didn't, I didn't try and fill the need of uncomfortability. I didn't try and get out of that. I said, lean into this. Why is this happening? Why am I unhappy right now? Boom, relationships. Let's take some action on it. Moving on to business, okay? So you have health, relationships, career. So with career, everyone says, I wanna be a millionaire by 30. I wanna be a billionaire by 40. I wanna have a private jet by 45. Really? Okay, we'll talk about something right after this. I'm coming to work every single day. That's a start. I'm reaching out to people, but I'm not following up as much as I should. So that, that's following up. That's, that's an area that unless I actually took a test and questioned myself and said, uh, actually I'm not following up as much as I should, that's one area I can change, okay? Am I prospecting as much as I should? I am not. So it's really not the market, it's not society, it's not that, you know, something is against me because of something, I grew up middle class, or I grew up this way, no. It's not my friends, it's not the government, it's not society, it's not social media. It's me. I need to push away social media. I need to include more prospecting. I need to include better follow-up. I'm done with this. In other words, I'm done taking inventory on myself. But where in your life, right now, do you need to change? And this is the reason. Jeff Bezos does it, Tony Robbins does it, uh, Peter D. Modis does it, probably Ray Kurzweil does it as well. These are all very forward thinkers, very wealthy thinkers, Elon Musk, in a recent in interview by Axios, I think is, is the name of it, look it up. It was an HBO special. It was about eight to nine minutes long, but you see this guy who is literally waking up and or sleeping in the manufacturing area that Tesla has made. And this guy is so much, pa so much passion for his car. He doesn't look that good. He's working his ass off. But I can tell you right now, probably deep down inside, he is happy because he's making progress. We need to figure out an area of your life, or you need to figure out an area of your life where you literally see where you're uncomfortable, where, you, where, where your mind says this, is, this needs to change. Out of those three, start with those three. Don't move on to anything else. Relationships, wealth, and health. And then you say, okay, let me just sit on this for a month. Let me see why I'm not happy because Progress equals happiness. If you don't see progress, if you don't see what you're doing is actually working, you give up or you're unhappy. And I live in New York City and I can tell you right now, I'm in a building of entrepreneurs. There's not many people that are walking around with smiles and saying, I love being at work. First of all, that's not our accent. But second of all, that's the way it is to them. That's the way it is. I wake up, I don't go to the gym or I go to the gym. I come to work, I make calls or I don't make calls. I do the exact same thing over and over and over again till I actually reach the weekend. Then I reach the weekend, then it's weeks, 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 months, quarters, years later that they say, I think it's time to get married. I think it's time to change careers, maybe go on a vacation, buy a new car. What's your legacy gonna be? What's your legacy gonna be? That's really what it comes down to. Why, why are you unhappy? Why are, why are you not doing what you want to do? These are all questions. And it is not on the outside, it's all on the inside. And that's why I was so bullish about the book, Atomic Habits. This is not a promotion for it, it's a great book, but it just taught me, it said, I'm just not doing the right things. And it doesn't matter if it's that book or any other book about habits, mini habits, the power of habit, atomic habits, where there's motivation, but there needs to be a time where you say enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm done. I'm done being the way I am. It's not on the outside. I am telling you right now because forever we look and we say, I don't like my office setup, or I don't like the relationship we're in. I don't like the body that I have. And then you say, well, you know, if it wasn't so hard to get to the gym, if the gym wasn't so expensive, if, if, if healthy food wasn't so expensive, or if they weren't hiring, or they were hiring, or, you know, I just live in a, that's fine. You, you, you do you, you go your whole life, you go your whole life till the end. And then you look back and you could still blame something on the outside your parents, your society, government, internet, the market, doesn't really matter, but there will be no legacy. And that's what I'm living for, is what legacy are you, are you living behind? That's why I make these videos. That's why I make these videos. 
That's exactly why I make these videos. So I can get enough money from my job to make better videos, to speak, to then write. So one fuels the other, but I'm also making videos for work. That's my legacy. And there's gonna be something in the future that I'm unhappy with. It could then come to my body because I'm speaking so much and I'm so busy and I'm, I'm stressed out or I'm not sleeping as much. Then at that time, I say, you know what? I gotta slow down a little bit. But I'm nowhere near max capacity. I'm probably at 40%. You know, if I'm really honest right now, I'm probably at 40%. Probably, yeah, 40%. Because I'm still waking up early, I'm consistently eating correctly, and I'm consistently going to the gym. That, and, and it'll never be 100%, I just wanna get it to 80%. So 20% is the job, Tw and by the way, this is really helping me out actually saying this, 20% is my job, increasing the progress in my job, increasing better habits in my job, and 20% in relationships. I don't know what you got out of this, this was more of a rant. Uh, I would say that your, your comments, your feedback, are always appreciated. And I'm gonna hop out, gonna do a video for BPI, and then obviously do some appointments because I know 2019 is coming now. I'm gonna be 34. 34, I'm gonna be 34. That's six years away from when I actually want to buy a place in Hudson Yards with a big company. That's not a lot of time. At that time, I'll be 40, which is really when Gary Vaynerchuk really started taking off, all right? So have an amazing day. I'll talk to you guys soon.